Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Cinematic Diaries and welcome to Cinematic Saturdays. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to get motion in your clips without using any gear whatsoever. <laughs> So yes, this is the very first episode of Cinematic Saturdays, episode, video, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, we'll just call it episode. Um, I'm going to try to keep this really short and really simple, so let's dive into Final Cut Pro and I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? Alright, so I have a clip pulled up here and I'm actually working on another video called Work From Home uh, Setup, which this has been my setup and you'll see that very soon. Um, but I have a clip here uh, highlighting the the speakers that I use, which are the Cali Audio LP6s. What I want to do for this shot is I want to add a little bit of motion that looks as though the camera is on a slider. I've shot this on my Sony a7 III, and the lens that I'm using is a Sigma 24mm uh, 1.4 for the, for the Sony. It's a prime lens and I'm shooting at uh, the, the widest capacity, so it's 24 millimeters. So I shot this intentionally at the widest it could go because I intend on zooming in. So this is step number one. I want to zoom into this. So let's just go over here to our scale and let's just try 120%. Um, and then I'm gonna grab X axis and if you do that, you can see um, it moves it across that way. So that's what I wanna do. And I think what I'm going to start with, there's the edge of the clip. About I'm going to say about right there. You can't really tell because of that curtain. And so we'll start it there. And so I'm going to do a keyframe right there. And then that's a pretty long clip. So let's just cut it off right there. Let's get rid of, of that. So now what I'll do is I'm going to go back one frame. That's the last frame. And I want it to have motion the entire way through. So we'll add another keyframe. And then we're just going to come over here and type in zero and enter. And now it brings us back over there. So let's hit the space bar. And voila, there's motion. It looks like it's on a slider, which is super cool. Now, that might be for me not enough. So let's try 140. That looks a little bit better. And let's just kind of see how that, that looks. So let's reset our keyframes, and uh, I'm going to bring my x-axis over as far as I can get it without you noticing. So about right there will be fine. We're going to add the keyframe, and then we'll go to the end of the clip, go back one frame, and then just hit zero and enter. Now let's watch that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. See, it looks like it's on a slider, right? And that's the exact effect that I want to do. And you can do this a number of different ways with a number of different clips. If you want to pan down, pan up, you can zoom in. You can create kind of a, a dolly zoom effect if you had um, maybe a, a monopod and you were leaning in and you wanted to, to zoom out. Um, there's a lot of really cool things you can do adding motion in your clips. But this is just one little technique that I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you found this useful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. And if you want to see more just like this here on Cinematic Diaries, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video.